hidden ancient city. These outcrops are the remnants of Madayan Saleh or Al Hajr, a lost kingdom located 22 kilometers from Al Ula, northeast of Al Medina. Few have ventured to their second largest city, which has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2008. This is Alula, the unique region of Saudi Arabia.
hidden ancient city. These outcrops are the remnants of Medayan Saleh or Al Hajr, a lost kingdom located 22 kilometers from Al Ula, northeast of Al Medina. While many have heard of the Nabatin capital of Petra in neighboring Jordan, few have ventured to their second largest city, which has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2008. This was once a thriving metropolis. Now a set of well-preserved 1st century BC tombs and structures dot the Silk Road towards what was a vast trading empire. The area contains evidence of earlier civilizations, such as the Manians of Yemen, and the Lionids of Arabia. Inscriptions on Ikma Mountain reveal the names of tribes and the laws of those who carved them centuries ago. The vision aims to lessen the kingdom's dependence on oil and transform its economy by developing public services and increasing tourism. Seven hundred years before Christ, two thousand seven hundred years ago, at least.
Nestled in this desert oasis lies the old city of Alola, established around 800 years ago. The local community here have hosted the travelers for centuries, but the aim today is to build the next generation of hospitality from the ground up. Undoubtedly though, the Mariah building, that translates from Arabic as mirror, and was built specifically for the festival, takes the main stage. Designed by Italian architects, it became part of the Guinness World Record books in 2020, as the largest fully mirrored building in the world, and acts as a 500-person concert hall. Apparently it has been raised in just three months, but its main feature is how harmoniously it fits into the local landscapes. next to the cube becomes an extremely photogenic process. Filming it is perfect movie material.
the main action happens in the Mariah Hall, as the festival has a very tight concert schedule. Be mentioned is the space you have between the rows. I guess the number of spaces weren't the main criteria. As for the concert itself, first, Craig David went on stage to warm everybody up. Then he was followed by Lionel Richie, who blew up the stage and got everyone dancing. His top hits were in the mix, of course. In the next 14 years, the government plans to increase the revenue earned from tourism to 18% of its GDP. And by hosting major events around national sites like Al Ula, the conservative kingdom hopes to turn a new page in its history.